Hey guys, it's Noob Trainer here, and I will be bringing you guys a review on first aid kits. Um, this is my first review, and I'm just gonna put this out here. Um, don't forget to rate my videos and tell me what I'm doing wrong and what I could do to improve. So, thanks. Um, first aid kits are a specialist weapon that are unlocked at Second Lieutenant 2 or bought with NX. They cost 10k GP for a week, 20k GP for a month, 1.9k NX for a week, or 3.9k NX for a month. Now, first aid kits are pretty awesome. They heal you for about 100 health overall per med kit, and they break when they're out of healing power, or whatever you want to call it. And each time that you step on a medkit and it heals you, it will give you about 5 health, about like every second or so. However, sometimes it might give you a little bit more, around like 30 or 40, but that's not very often, but it still can happen. Um, you get two first aid kits per life, and as you can see I was picking up those red boxes. You get two each time that you pick up a red box in Cabin Fever, and speaking of Cabin Fever, these things are the bomb in Cabin Fever. They are so amazing. I would rate them 10 out of 10 in Cabin Fever. They just... they You can walk around anywhere that you want. You can get hit by those... The blue, big, muscular dudes. I don't know what they are. But, anyway, you can just do anything and then just step on them and get healed right away because you can stack them so much and it's just, just awesome. Like, look at this. You can see all that. That's a lot. It's not even all that many, but if I was to step on that, I'd get healed for a lot. And there's a new box. Sorry, I'm kind of doing the sound while I'm doing the footage, too, so I might be saying some weird stuff, like, oh crap, lag, or something like that. When I'm speaking, which I am lagging. Fraps does that. So, anyway, what was I saying? Medkits, you can stack them. And. They're very good in Cabin Fever. They're about average in Elimination and Capture the Flag, but I wouldn't really recommend them for Capture the Flag all that much. Jeez, look at all these big boxes. Um, they're horrible in Quarantine, except for there's a trick that you can do in Two Towers, which makes them pretty awesome, but I wouldn't go... I'm not, yeah, not going to go into that. Um, they're pretty bad in Desert Thunder 2, and... They're okay in Elimination Pro and Search and Destroy, but I still wouldn't recommend them. They're also pretty nice in Clan Wars because they heal your teammates too. So, they're pretty epic. However, comparing them to medkits, which are the uh, healing agent found at, or that you can buy at Second Lieutenant 1, which you run around with and you can basically just shank yourself and get about 40 to 60 health. Uh, these things are way better, but the only downside is that first aid kits, once you place them, they're there forever. And um, sometimes people might take them and use them up for themselves, and it's really annoying. But yeah, these things heal for way more, and they, they're they just awesome, man. My fist is jamming. watch this. Boom. So, yeah. They, like I said, are epic in Cabin Fever. They're pretty pro everywhere else except for Desert Thunder and, um, which we'll call it, Quarantine. And they're just pretty, pretty all around good. I'd give them, like, a 9 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for Cabin Fever, but still. However, med kits, or first aid kits, sorry, are very fragile. If anyone chucks a nade anywhere near them, they will break. They, it's so depressing to just see your med kits fall apart right before you. Because, I mean, especially if you work really hard putting them all down and your teammates use a stupid M32 and, like, screw it all up. But, yeah, so, I, 
guess I don't really have much else to say about them. They're just pretty good. I, like I said, 9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 for Cabin Fever. Pretty boss. So, yep. My first review, like I said, remember to comment on it, tell me what I'm doing wrong, tell me what I'm doing good, stuff like that. So, thanks. I guess I'll just show you guys some more footage of medkits, maybe, something like that. I'll figure out how to edit it. I don't know, whatever. Anyway, yep. this is Noob Trainer, and that was my medkit, or, oh, crap, <laughs> my first aid kit review. Hey guys, I'm back, and this is sort of part two of my medkit review. I'm using them in, uh, short fuse illumination. And, oh, crap, I get, guess my team is getting ganged over here. And they want to kick me, that's just great. I got kicked, that's nice. Sorry, I guess I'll just talk about them in the description of my video, and, yeah, I guess that's basically it, so... Thanks, like I said.